So today there is a Revenant update, but first let me just show you uh, that yeah, you can uh, used to be able to stand inside this wall and Mr. Bo Selector here <laughs> is dancing inside the wall and uh, you can't do that anymore, but he logged out there before the update. So good job Bo Selector, he is inside the wall. But anyway, oh look, the Xerox Amulet got a new little thing as well. Ooh, a new little teleport animation. Anyway, let's head back to the G. Anyway, so with the update, we've got three new weapons and a new amulet. So let's have a look. I, uh, I'm trying to buy them to see if they'll buy because I really want to test them. The Amulet of Avarice makes all your drops in the Revenant Caves noted. So I'm gonna, definitely going to test that in a video on its own against like Black Dragons or something. But let me explain their effects. So these weapons on their own are just level 60 weapons that need charging with Revenant Ether. But once they are charged and they're in the wilderness, the bow does 50% extra damage and 50 and you get 50% extra accuracy with it. Then you've got the Scepter where when it's charged and used against something in the wilderness, you get double the magic accuracy, 100% magic accuracy and 25% magic damage. And then the Mace. The Mace on its own is like a D-Sim, has D-Sim stats and it's crush so it's good for like Vetion and stuff like that but then on top of that in the wilderness you get 50% additional melee accuracy and 50% extra damage uh, so yeah now that I've explained them let's kill lots of revenants for a while and see if we get anything hopefully we'll get the weapons if not if we don't get any weapons then uh, I'll just buy the weapons and we'll, uh, we'll test them that way also if you're on twitch and have Amazon Prime Oscars are doing a twitch prime sort of uh, thing where if you register your RS account link it to your twitch account then you get 30 days free membership uh, so yeah if you've got twitch prime then you may as well do that 30 days free membership and they're also announced finally announcing the uh, the new quest that mod ash wanted to work on called making friends with my arm the new troll quest so you can read about that in the news post linked in the description so as you can see i've made myself a beautiful little loot tab except i need to sell this stuff this was just for placeholders this video is morely based on these weapons i'm going to test them if i don't get them as a drop then i'll buy them like i said so let's get started and head to the reverend and see if we can get a weapon drop oh oh why, why can't we just be friends okay the 2.2k total world is uh, is taken so we can't be going there oh goodness all right i'm gonna go with this setup now so we can boop some revenants all right let's go oh someone got the avarice give me that who got it someone got avarice right in front of me i don't know who got it someone got it though let's see if my uh, avarice buys on the g now you bought it oh i bought it oh it, oh i thought someone got it oops <laughs> Ooh, i love avarice now, I just got this. This is going to be worth like 5k by the time I get around to using it, but whatever. Oh wait, let me explain what it does. What it does is anything you kill in the uh, in the rev caves, uh, this notes all of your drops, but it also makes you permanently scold until you take it off. But when you take it off, you're still scold for 20 minutes. So it's, it's alright. Another bracelet. I love bracelets. It's the only thing I'm here for. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna regret everything. I regret everything. I got it for 140, nearly 148 mil. Got the bow. All right, let's test this thing. <laughs> and we're gonna sell this back, then we'll test the mace. Then we'll sell that back and test the staff. Cause, uh, oh look, it's a J mod. M wait, Mr. Aiza, do you like my bow? Do you like my bow, Mr. Aiza? Oh dude, that's really cool. It has like an arm guard on it. It does look really cool. I thought, oh, that is really cute. I do like it, good, good. All right, we got, um. Confirmation from the JMOs now. Let's go, uh, let's go use it. Let's go, let's go charge it. Alright, so this is what the bow looks like. Uh, it looks the same as before, which is pretty cool. So let's, let's go use this. We're gonna go for max range strength rather than just like max range, if you know what I mean. Look at, look at all these moles running around the G. Look at Aiza trolling. I can go Venatis with this cool looking bow. Do you like my bandana? It looks so ugly. Whatever, we're wearing a bandana. It's best in slot. It's not best in slot, right? Grab some house tabs. We've got Grand Seed Pod. Need an anti dough. Anti venom. Does that count? I think that's fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. Alright, where is this Venonautis? Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is too off putting. Alright, let's see what we're gonna hit. Oh, nice. That's a good start. We hit zero. Oh, and another zero. Oh, yeah, this attacks as fast as a magic short bow. So, I'm pretty sure the mace is gonna be amazing on this guy, not the bow. The bow isn't too amazing on the Venonautis. Isn't looking too good. Oh, we can hit ourselves a 16. Oh, the combo's starting now. Alright, never mind. Well, the bow's garbage on Venonautis. Let's go somewhere else. Up, I'm here with the bow. I'm here to steal all your kills. That's the new bow. Yes. Y yes, it is. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see. Good start. Oh, that is a good start. Okay, it's good on revs. Then mine hit a zero. Oh, I hit again. Oh, it's good on revs. Oh, it's good. It's like a blowpipe, but not. There's nobody there. Ooh, look like a revenant knight. 
What, the, what was that? A 34? Oh, what was that? A 49! We hit 49 with it. That was a good, good hit. Okay, this is good. This is good. Good weapon. Oh! Oh! Was that my 47? Dude! This thing tears. Go on, let, let's hit 50. Give me, give me the 50. Oh, what was that? Another 49. Dude, then a 38! This thing is disgusting! It's like you're blowpipe specking every attack. Oh! Dude, this bow is all good! This is how we're gonna, we're gonna land ourselves a flare at this point. This thing is so good! I think it's max is 49. I've spammed a lot of 49s. This thing is so good! How far is the range? It's the same as a magic short bow, I think, but I'll, I'll test. Let me shoot something far away. Oh, I can shoot from back here. Oh, that's a really long range, actually. That's like Tebow range. Okay, so it has the stats of Magic Shortbow, except when you're in the wilderness, then it, uh, then it gets 50% damage and accuracy, and it has the range of a Twisted Bow. I'm taking all of these kills, dude. Ain't no one getting kills in this world. Actually, I might have lost that kill. Nope, I still got it. Look, I'm oh, boys, I'm struggling to pick up all this loot I'm getting. I'm just getting too much loot. Oh, would you look at that? It was my drop. Looking like a snack with all that loot, dude. Oh, I have got a lot of loot, haven't I? You guys didn't see anything. I don't have any loot. What are you talking about? Look at this guy with his pathetic little blowpipe. Oh wait, yeah, I think he might have got that kill. Heck. <laughs> this bow is good if you get if you get a lot of hits. Oh look at that. 26, a zero, another zero, a uh, not a 60. I hit a 32, then another zero. He hit a zero. What's going on? Am I not potted properly? This is with low accuracy armor as well. This is in like this gear. Pretty garbage gear. Yeah, the, the bow's good. The bow's good. Look at that. Got three hits in and it's mine. Oh heck a PK. Like I'm pretty sure this is my drop, boys. You, you just shouldn't even oh. Heck. So it's like I'm getting the majority of the drops, but you still have to pay attention and actually attack the things when they spawn. It's better than Elder Wolf for sure. Well, I think the conclusion is it's very good on Revenants, indeed. You can spam some high hits with this thing. I got a nice bracelet. I love bracelets. Okay, so let's take this bow to Chaos and Metal and have a look see how good it is there. Alright, first to zero, that's a good start. Alright, it's so a 42. I think you pray mage. Oh, well, it's destroying Chaos Elemental. Nice. Okay, no, this is way better than Tebow on the Chaos Elemental. Alright, this bow's pretty good. It's pretty good. Do have to eat though. That means he's gonna unequip stuff. Where is he gone? Come back. Other than me getting absolutely torn by the Chaos Elemental, that was really good. It's very good at the Chaos Elemental. Interesting. Should we go somewhere else? Should we try the archaeologist that used range on? So this is definitely better than Tebow on a Chaos Elemental because I've killed t this thing with Tebow before. Now I'm pretty sure you ranged this guy with like a crossbow before. Alright, let's see. Oh, we hit to start with. That's a good start. Right, we have to dodge some attacks. Well, I haven't hit a zero yet. Nope, I haven't hit a zero. Oh, there's one zero. I'm not even in max gear. Okay, this bow is sort of like tears completely. I'm not even in max accuracy gear. You could bring armadillo. And I have the wrong amulet on. I have a salve amulet on, not an anguish. Yeah, that's pretty amazing against the, the archaeologist. And like I said, I didn't even have anguish on. I have a salve amulet on, which doesn't work on him. So I'm missing out on some range strength. Uh, Yeah, this thing is good. Let's do one more kill. There's a charge the bow, right? Yes, but it's really cheap with ether. That's so easy. This bow's so good. Okay, where are we going next? This 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 bow's so good. Dude, this thing is disgusting. All right, let's uh hmm, green dragons. Let's get green dragons. So when this chills down in price, this will be best in slot for revs 1000% and chaos ml and chaos fanatic and uh we're about to find out where else. Ammo's so cheap too. Yeah. It's 100 GP per shot ish. Right, I've had enough time tearing through revs. Oh look, ugly. <sighs> The heck are you talking about? Look at that bow. It looks so nice. It has like a little sheath or something on it. It looks really good. It looks like a really nice bow. It looks really good. That bandana looks ugly though. All right, let's see. What are we going to get powered by? Nothing. All right, let's tear up some avian seeds for a bit. <laughs> are we ready? Let's attack the lowest level one. Go. Our hits aren't very good right now, but we haven't hit a zero. Yes, yeah, so this thing tears avian seeds. I don't even need to like do a lot. Oh, that's a spiritual warrior. I don't want that one. Let's just attack all the Aviancies. Come on, Miss Aviancy. Just, there we go. Oh, we are tearing. This thing tears through everything. Everything. Let me just AFK with uh, with this one. All right, be right back. Mm, this thing's disgusting. And my water tastes like bacon. Look at this thing. And it's like 100 GP per shot or something. What's that? You're on me? Well, you're going to have to die, sir. Look at this thing. It's a... It's a it's, it's a blowpipe, a little, a little bit slower, but it hits a lot more accurately and a lot more harder. It's like a blowpipe, one tick slower, and it's like the blowpipe's back every attack, rather than just a normal attack. I mean, it, I think it's fair to say that this thing absolutely tears. Alright, let's leave this place and tear up some other NPC before we move on to the flail.
Uh, these are some nice looking elder chaos druids you got here. Let's just start tearing. Oh no, we hit a zero. It's not a good start. Ah, oh, never mind. We hit real good. This thing tears through everything. No, I don't want to go next to you. I want to stand next to this guy. Over. Fine. You're getting it first. Oh my goodness. Decide who wants me. Compared to other range training methods. Alright, let me check the XP. I'll check the XP like in one minute. It's actually disgusting. This is a new training method. Guess the XP. Guess the XP now. Oh, this buddy's predicting now. I've done this for like two minutes. It's 160k. Yes, good job. Yes, 160k XP now. <laughs> Tears up Elder Chaos Druids and it's 160. Well, I'm getting 165k XP now, but that's in this gear with the rigor. Uh, but I wasn't potted too high, so 160k XP an hour isn't too far off. Like it's not too unrealistic. Uh, so if you want to train here on your pure or any on your main, even buy one of these bows and put full void on, and you can AFK get 160k range XP an hour. <laughs> It's so dumb. All right, let's see here. Vetion, get the heck off of me. All right, let's try Lava Dragon and see how much they tear. Three, two, one, boop. Oh, we st start with a zero. Oh, wait, we hit. Oh, oh, ooh, actually. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We, we found a, oh my goodness. Dude, this is how I'm getting my leets from now on. We tear Lava Dragons up with this bow. <laughs> They're weak to mage, yeah, but apparently they're also weak to this bow. <laughs> and this is in garbage gear. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting, dude. And this is like way cheaper than Trident as well. This is gross. Ah, oh, disgusting. These poor lava dragons, they didn't deserve this. Oh goodness. Oh, why didn't I bring my ring of wealth imbued? Could have got like six and a half elites here. How you spell it? Crow? Like that, cr or oh, craws, sorry. Look at this, it's just smacking voice. Three tick range weapon hitting 41 plus. Yep. As we can see, I'm not picking up any of the loot, but this this thing tears through lava dragons. I honestly did. Oh, dude, we got a leak clue scroll. Yes. Didn't even have an abuse ring of off on. But this thing seems to absolutely tear through lava dragons. I didn't think it would because of the defense they have. But apparently the defense isn't quite enough. You do hit a fair amount of zeros. Think it's better than Trident? I don't know. I'm spamming 40s of it. No, I didn't think so. His defense is a bit high and he's weak to crush. That's why we're going to use the mace. Ooh, never mind. Ooh, hold up. Wait. What? Hold on. Mr. Bow, you're not meant to be good against Vetion. He's weak to crush, not rain. Oh, Bow, please stop being so good. You're not meant to be good against Vetion. You need to stop. And this works with everything in the world. It's not just the bosses, even against these spooders. So it tears anything... Oh, dude, this is just disgusting. Wilderness Slayer, man. Wilderness Slayer. Wilderness Slayer, you'll tear through everything. Please don't be good on Callisto. You're not meant to be good at Callisto. Oh, no. I, oh, no. It's being okay. I hit a 40. Oh, dear. Oh, this is disgusting. Why is it good on Callisto? It shouldn't be good on Callisto. And, wait, can he even attack me? Oh, there we go. He got me. Good job, Callisto. Oh, it, it looked okay from the start, but then it, it started hitting not so good. I'm fully potted. Can I shoot him while he's running away? Oh, is he dead? Yes, I killed him! We got a Venatus kill, and uh, oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, I got Diamond Bolt C. Sweet. Well, he's okay on Venatus, it seems. So I can't thoroughly test this because I want to, like, not lose absolute bank on this bow, so I'm just testing it roughly, and then we'll move on to a different weapon. Mr. Green Dragons, if you could just hold still. Now, I just know it's gonna tear through these because th th they're low defense. They're Green Dragons. They're Green Dragons. How many zeros? We're not gonna hit any, any zeros. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a better blowpipe. Oh my goodness! It fires so fast that it overkills them. Like, by the time they get up to you, you just run away and they're dead. Look at this! If you had this in Avarice, it'd be disgusting. Look, they're not spawning fast enough. Okay, I mean, it's okay, Green Dragons. The only bad thing is they don't spawn fast enough, so you kill them too fast, so you may as well be using something slower. Phew, alright, let's go to Black Dragons. Alright, let's see how far we can tear into these Black Dragons' faces. Oh, oops, didn't see you there. Oh, would you look at that? I'm tearing through them. What surprise. And you just safe spot right at the entrance here. Yep, it's good at Black Dragons. There's not much to say. It's tearing through them just like it's torn through most of everything else with low defense or lowish defense. Alright, Right, well, it tears here. Let's go and get ourselves a mace. This this is my kill. You should step back, sir. I'm stealing this dragon. And I'm stealing this knight as well. Ah, oh, dude, if I stole that, I would have got it. He got an ancient emblem. T.Y. <laughs> I helped him get an ancient emblem. Right, let's see how fast we can kill this dragoon for the last time. Oh, dude, am I going to beat out this guy who just crystal hallied it? Oh, hold on. Who's going to win it? A crystal halley spec that hit like 40 40 on me. Oh, he won. Heck. I, I thought I would win, honestly. Well, like, if you attack any rev and you hit, like, not too many zeros, you're probably gonna get the kill. Like, probably, just like then. I don't want to sell it and it goes up and then I have to buy it back. Mm, okay, let's go, let's go sell the bow. We'll buy a mace, we'll test the mace, test it at revs. I'm pretty sure the bow will be better at revs than the mace, because it's 
Yeah. So we're gonna sell the bow, buy the mace, test the mace, and then I'm probably gonna buy the bow back because I really, really like it. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'll withdraw my monies. Let me withdraw nice. this offer. Oops, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Oops. Let's uncharge the boat. If you uncharge the boat, all the red ether will be returned to your inventory. Oh, good. Oh, so you get the ether that you had in it originally. So you get all the ether back, even the ether that you used to activate it. Interesting. Oh, no! Damn it! It's gone up! Oh, no! I bought it for 148 and it sold instantly for 150. <laughs> Goodbye forever, done. How much did it go for? No! It's a 224! Guys, I have to buy it back. I have to buy it back. It's going up. Oh, please. I have to buy it back. Can I buy it back? I really need to buy it back. <laughs> I need to buy it back. I need to buy it back. Buy the mace. Fine. Buy the mace. How much is this going for? Uh, please buy. Oh, no. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to just slap a 200 mil offer in for the mace. If it doesn't buy, then I'm buying back my bow. Oh, no. The chain mace. Is Nothing's buying. No. Give me my bow back. Give me my bow back. I want it back. Give it back, easy merch. Like, no, 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 are you serious? No. <laughs> it's not buying back for 100 mil more than I put it for. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I want my bow back. Why'd I sell it? I tell you why, it was because I wanted to test the mace. Buy it all back. Oh, the mace isn't buying. I got nothing. <laughs> hey, it's Pullman. Do you want to give me? Some, do you want to give me the? Did you merch the bow from me, Pullman? That's the wrong sort of bow, but I'll take it. Thanks. Nice. Can I sell this and buy the other bow? Ah, we made 500k off the off the amulet, so that's fine. We'll buy that back in a few days and test it. We made 500k off that. Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, so, after 10 minutes of of crying in bed. Uh, the mace bought <laughs> for an okay price of 200 mil. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna drop the rope and chair in death room. Don't need that. We're gonna go use this on the revenants, and it's one hand as well, so I can bring a defender. So first of all, this 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 thing looks really cool because it flops about everywhere. Look at this, it flops about. Let's go and flop my mace over some revenants. See how good it is. Look, boys, do you like do you like my floppy flail? I'm ready to slap this dragon. Slap the 36, the 39. Someone with an Elder Maul beat me to the kill. Oh, 63! So it's a fast Elder Maul, basically. Interesting. This is this was 200 mil. It looks to be just about as good as the bow because this can hit 60s. The bow could hit max 49. This just hit a 64, and it's one tick slower. And it makes a beastly sound as well. Well, it's just, it's just a, it can hit it can hit as hard as an Elder Maul. It just doesn't feel like it though. Yes, yeah, bow's definitely better at revs. I have tested it enough on revs. So the bow's definitely better on revs than the uh, mace, but the mace is going to be better at every other boss that I tried it on. So we're just not even going to free gear. I'm going to head straight to Veteon because it's going to be a beast on Veteon. Let's go. All right, I think, is this my half killed? All right, so straight away, 64 on the Hellhounds because the all of these are weak to crush. Yep, this is destroying everything. This, this destroys, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is... <laughs> oh goodness, there go the hounds, nice and easy. How easy is Vettian gonna go? A 67! So, I mean, from what I can tell, I don't kill Vettian a lot, but I know he has high defense and you have to use Crush to have a chance of hitting on him, but it seems pretty good. Do it again, okay, let's do this again. And I know the proper method for this is you're meant to safe spot him, so you don't use so much food, but like, I'm doing so much damage to him that I'll be able to do him in an inventory of food. Look at this, I just took away like a quarter of his HP really quickly. Oh my goodness! Dude! I just- what? That, that was disgusting! I just killed his last phase in like 5 or 6 hits! Well, he is, this is disgusting for Veteon, hands down. Venatus, come over here! Well, I'm destroying him! And he's- is he sitting in multi? Oh, I think he is now. Okay, he's sitting in multi now, that's fine. I, I don't have food. Ah, oh, heck, we're gonna have to come back to the nice. But that looked very good. I killed like half of it. All right, let's go in again. This time with the correct amulet. Is it gonna be like the bow? And sometimes it will feel accurate, other times not. Let's slap him at 44, and he slaps me at 44. Oh, and he tried Callisto after this as well. It tears through Veteon, and it probably tears through the Spooder. 
I don't want to die because it will discharge everything. It seems that the mace, much like the bow, sometimes it goes to, into a bit of a fit and decides to hit lots and lots of zeros. Other times, it will hit like a beast. So, Vetion he destroyed. Venna's doesn't look too amazing. Hitting lots of zeros. But then I'll randomly just like slap a 50. Or a 2. Alright, I've had enough of you. We're going to Callisto. Ha! Ferax. Slap! Alright, initially it looks okay. We've hit us a number. Uh, now we've hit nothing. Now we've hit nothing again. Oh, I'm hitting 50s now. <laughs> I'll help. Okay, nice. Sweet. Alright, we're helping these boys for another another Callisto kill. Okay, oh, here we go. We've got a direct comparison. See if it's better than Varax or not. I don't know if they're in better gear or not. No, we're in similar gear. They're full Varax climbing boots. Glory. Well, I didn't finish it, but I think I'm going to get the kill. I did indeed. It's good against the bosses. It's The bow is better at revs and like, everything with low levels cause, just because it attacks faster. Uh, let's see. Did I get the kill again? I did indeed. <laughs> so it does seem to be better than Varax. Uh, and uh, imagine if you were on task. If you were on task, it'd be so much better with the extra damage and accuracy you'd get from the Slayer Helm. Oh, good. A peek here. Is this what marks my end? I really want this blister to kill though. Oh, I didn't even get the kill. Oh, there's dark crabs. You sausage, you should have picked those up so I can get to him. I should have slapped him. Wait, get come back. He's gonna die to spiders. That's so funny. No, come back. Dude, he nearly died. That's hilarious. To be fair, he was level 89 and he nearly got me a few times. That's why Revis is crowded. Yes, this is why Revis is crowded. Also, the bow is really good. Ogre Coffin Keys, that's what we have to show for us. Well, that's it. I'm going to sell the mace back now. Um, so that's, we've done enough testing. Conclusion, mace is probably the better one for all the bosses. Nice. The bow is the best for, like, everything else. Like, this, if you want to do Wilderness Slayer, or you want to kill revs, or... The, yeah, it's not too good against the, uh, the Wilderness bosses because their defense is too high for the bow. I'll dump it for 200 mil, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we profited 11 mil off of the mace. Easy. So I profited off of both of them, and I did put another offer in for the bow, but I'm going to take that out now. Uh, yeah, so we profited off the bow, and we profited off the mace. Not too much profit off the mace, so it's not going up too much, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's enough testing of that. So I'm sorry for the semi-mess of clips. There wasn't a lot of structure to this video, I do apologise, but I was live on Twitch, and it was uh, all hype of the moment, because uh, all the weapons were changing in prices, and as you saw, I came out on top in the end, because we bought the bow originally for 148 nearly, then we sold it back for 224, and then I bought the mace for 2 200 and then bought sold it back for 211 so we profited but and we got to test them so it's win-win now the staff i couldn't buy for 200 mil and by looking at its effect which is 25 percent extra damage and 100 percent more accuracy i can't imagine it's that good because the accuracy is sort of wasted because if you're going to use it on scorpia you very rarely splash on scorpia anyway so what i mean is anything that you would use mage on in the wilderness it's already weak to mage so having the extra accuracy doesn't really do a lot and then it's only 25 percent damage and also it hasn't got its own built-in spell like a trident so you'd have to use fire surge or ice barrage and it doesn't auto cast uh, agents either so the staff isn't that good but i'll test it if you really want me to and in the future when it's not above 200 mil but for now i've got an offer to buy the bow back because i'd like to do 10 hours of revenants with that bow because with this bow you take all the kills because it just hits so high and it hits so fast so when i get the bow back i will do a 10 hour loot from for revs and also another idea maybe you want me to do. You saw I sold my um, Avarice Amulet for some profit. For me, it wouldn't be such a great money maker, but for someone else, certain so mid-level who hasn't done the Elite Diaries in the Wilderness, when you kill a dragon, their bones are noted. But if you haven't got that, then you can camp green dragons in the Revenant Caves with this uh, Amulet of Avarice, and all the drops it drops will be noted. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, so those are my ideas. Let me know if you have any cool adaptations or any new ideas with uh, all of the new weapons and, and such, and stuff with the revs. Uh, I want to take the new PKing to revs as well, so we'll do that as well. And uh, yeah, and other than that, of course, there's a bunch of updates that I didn't read, which are there's just lots of little changes which aren't very significant, linked in the description. And that is the end of today's update video. Expect more videos soon, DM.